Months ago, we made a video about the R1, one of the two cameras Canon is most likely to release in 2024. People who watched that video said they wanted to see the R1 exactly as we described it in the video, but at the time there was nothing but rumors and speculation. Recently, Canon announced the arrival of its flagship mirrorless camera, the R1, and it's going to be a beauty that really outshines the rest. In this video, we take a look at the specs and details of this beast and what we can expect. Before we get to the video, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's get to the video. The R1 features an all-new stacked 45-megapixel BSI sensor, offering remarkable capabilities. While it's not equipped with a global shutter sensor as previously rumored, this new sensor allows shooting with the electronic shutter at an astounding 60 FPS in 14-bit RAW, 90 FPS in 12-bit RAW, and 200 FPS in small RAW, all with full autofocus. Additionally, Canon has introduced pre- and post-RAW recording, allowing for capturing up to one second before taking the photo and one second after releasing the shutter, resulting in a substantial amount of data. The R1 boasts dual CF Express card slots, ensuring ample storage capacity and a massive buffer to accommodate the high-speed shooting capabilities. In terms of autofocus, the R1 is powered by an all-new Digic 11 processor and introduces the groundbreaking quad-pixel multi-integrated live focus technology. Furthermore, there's an upgraded 5.76 million dot EVF with a second-generation eye control feature and a new 5-axis flip-out rotating 3.2-inch LCD screen. When it comes to video, the R1 doesn't disappoint, offering impressive capabilities such as 8K 60fps recording for up to 30 minutes, 4K 240fps for 60 minutes, and unlimited 4K up to 120fps. This is made possible by a new integrated body design with a passive liquid-cooled center, ensuring efficient heat dissipation during prolonged video recording sessions. The pricing strategy seems aggressive, with Canon directly targeting major competitors like Nikon and Sony. The price of its successor, the R3, has dropped significantly to $4,499. With this discount, Canon will set the price of the R1 with all its features at $6,000 at no extra cost. However, despite the attractive pricing, it will be available in limited quantities upon launch. Meanwhile, in the comments, beginners are asking questions about the lenses. If you are a beginner, you should choose the right lens depending on what you are doing. If you want, we can make a video on how to choose a lens for beginners. In the meantime, you can check Canon's current lens prices at the link in the description. If you watched our previous R1 video, we emphasized that we would see this camera before the Summer Olympics. Now the global release date for the R1 is set for May 1st, giving enthusiasts and professionals around the world the opportunity to experience its groundbreaking features firsthand. We will be waiting for that day with great anticipation and excitement. That's the video in general. We wanted to generalize Canon's long-awaited camera R1 for you, and you can see it on many pages as soon as this information is published, but not all of them may be publishing completely accurate information. So in short, in order not to confuse you, we are publishing this video for you. Thank you for watching. In one of the next videos, we will be sharing with you the expected second camera, the R5 Mark II. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss that video. Thanks for watching and take care until the next video.